there! Welcome to another shooting location. We are talking today about the skeletal system in your body. And in order to talk about your skeleton, all your bones, we needed to get up and stretch. So, here you go. Here's a little bit of information about your skeletal system. Your skeletal system is actually made up of all your bones, your muscles, your ligaments, your tendons, all those little things that hold your bones together, especially at the joints where two bones meet. You've got all your tendons and your ligaments there. And so you have all of those things going together to make your skeletal system. And your skeletal system is important. It does a couple things. Besides making sure you're not a puddle on the floor, it supports your entire body, your weight. It also protects a lot of your vital organs. Your rib cage, it protects your lungs, your hearts, your pancreas. I mean, you just, you name it. All of these vital organs are protected by your bones. Uh, they also help you to move. If you didn't have joints and ligaments, movement would not happen. And then finally, the inside of your bone uh, is used is a place where your marrow creates new blood cells. Okay, so there's a little bit of basic information. My handy dandy helper here is going to help us with some facts and demonstrations. All right, so what's our first fact? Look at it. Teeth. Teeth are not bones. Teeth are not bones. They are part of your skeletal system and the enamel is hard it's actually harder than your bones. But teeth themselves are not bones. All right? The next fact, the smallest bone is in the inner ear. Yes, you have five little bones inside your ear, way deep down, that help you hear. And guess what? My grandmother was quick to point out to me the first time I went snow skiing that those five bones in the inner ear are probably the only bones in your entire body that have never been broken in a skiing accident. I haven't double checked that fact, but it's probably true. All right, what's our next one? Mm -hmm. uh, nope. Bones are hollow. Bones are hollow. You got that hard bone on the outside, but inside you've got it's, it's not empty, but you've got this soft jelly-like substance called marrow. And like I said, it creates blood and new blood cells. So you kind of need that. If you ever hear of someone having a bone marrow transplant, it means they've taken some of that jelly-like substance out of someone's bones and put it in another, another person. It's painful. Okay. So that was that. Then we've got this, the hyoid. It's the only bone that's not connected to another bone. It's in your throat and it holds your tongue in place. Okay, what else you got? You use 12 muscles. Smell. You use oh, oh, oh. smell or you use twelve bones to smile. Oh, muscles. <laughs> Here, there are twelve muscles in your face that you use to smile. Uh, there are also fourteen bones in your face that make up your face. Just interesting fact. Speaking of numbers, babies have more bones than adults. A baby is born with about 270 bones. As they get older, their bones fuse together, so two bones become one. By the time you're an adult, you only have 206 bones. Okay? What else you got? It mm -hmm. takes seven years. Years for bones to regenerate. Right, so basically, 
You know how he said your skin cells regenerate? You get all new skin cells within a couple days? Well, for bones, they do heal. They do grow. But it takes seven years for all of your bone cells that you have today to be totally replaced, to have all new bone. It takes seven years. Okay? Here's an interesting fact. Half of the bones in your body are in your hands or in your feet. That's right. You have 26 bones in each foot and 27 bones in each hand. Hang on. Come on, my helpers. That means you've got over 100 bones just in your hands and feet. That's over half the bones in your body. And, of course, the longest bone is the femur. It is your leg bone. All right. So, here we go. Where your two bones meet, you have joints. And there are three different kinds of joints. I don't want to go into a lot of detail on these joints, but this is why some of your joints are only go so far. I can't bend his arm all the way down there. His elbow will not let me bend it all the way down. It's a, one of those joints that, yeah, there you go. You can only bend it that far. It's fully extended. Now then, your elbow, your Shoulder, though, is a different kind of joint. Look, you can go all <laughs> around. There's no hitting your sister. <laughs> no punching sister. <laughs> okay. And then um, there are basically three different types of joints. And for those of you who are able, they talk about this on Brain Pop, the Brain Pop video that I'm going to send a link to. And also, you can look them up on Google, the three different types of joints in the human body. I'm going to send several links that go with this lesson. <laughs> and <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed our little lesson on the skeletal system. Thank you, my assistants. And you guys have a great day. <laughs>